Welcome to another OCD Recovery Instagram Live. I'm going to be talking a little bit about reassurance and what happens with mental reassurance when it connects, when, when, when we've got the mental compulsion going on in our head and when we can actually control that reassurance. Now, obviously, with physical reassurance, as in me checking, have I locked the door? Have I uh, shut a cupboard? Uh, have I turned off a tap? I can physically stop doing that. Okay, so that can be done by just stopping doing that. But with mental reassurance, it's not as simple as that. So with a mental reassurance, obviously we can replay a situation over and over again voluntarily, going through the past, looking at things, thinking, okay, what did I do on the 28th of February in 1996 at 10 o'clock in the evening? How did that make me think? What was I thinking at that point? How was, uh, what happened? Where was my hand? Where was my leg? Where was I? What was I thinking? We can replay those situations with us getting involved in them. That happens. So that's us getting involved. So we need to bring that back. But what we then do is we tend to have a reassurance that goes on automatically without us getting involved, that just keeps playing. And it just keeps, it feels like it's us, but it's actually automatic. Now that's because you're still scared of something. We need to bring the fear down. As we bring the fear down, that automatic reassurance comes down. So we have to focus on what it is we fear and changing our relationship both with the OCD in the forms of intrusive thoughts, intrusive feelings and emotions, as well as the core fear that's driving the whole cycle. So as we bring that down, that then will come down, but we can't stop it straight away. And the reason I'm covering that is people beat themselves up. What people do is they go, oh my God, why am I still reassuring myself in my head? I've been told so many times not to do this. And then they still keep, obviously keeps going on automatically. And then they beat themselves up again. There's so many of these self-defeating cycles that people with OCD and depression get into all the time, which is like, which are things like, well, why can't I just get myself better? I should know by now. I've read this amount of books, but it's not as simple as that because if it was, everyone would recover like that. And it isn't. You need to learn a lot of things about the journey. You need to have a good, deep understanding of OCD and acceptance. It takes a lot of practice, so it's not that simple. If it was that simple, Howard Hughes, the aviation pioneer, who's one of the wealthiest men in the world in his time, he had all the resources medically. He had the mindset. He was obviously a clever guy to be able to deal with that situation, and he couldn't do it. Spent decades stuck with OCD. Obviously, exasperated by the amount of money he had being able to make the situations more and more extreme around him to protect and keep his reassurance cycles going that was obviously a large part but he didn't have the understanding he did they didn't understand OCD at that time okay now in relation to the questions being asked today I'm going to cover uh, all, all different questions on a longer Instagram live I only wanted to come on here briefly to just talk about the reassurance cycle I will see you guys in another Instagram live soon and uh, I'll be covering a lot more questions in a Q&A and the individual themes such as existential ROCD POCD and so on all right guys see you later